The Hubble Space Telescope took a picture of heaven. Yes, the actual heaven, as described in the religious books. That's what is viral now, based on a secret photo that was leaked by a NASA insider. But is there any truth to this claim? Or is it just a hoax, fabrication, or a fantasy? In this video, we will investigate this claim and its origin, its debunking, and its implications. This video is important because it will help you to distinguish between facts and fiction and to avoid falling for hoaxes and misinformation. So stay tuned and let's dive into this topic. An anonymous researcher got a secret message, a photo that was said to be taken by the famous Hubble Space Telescope. The photo showed something unbelievable, a huge ghostly city hanging in infinite space. Weekly World News published the story, making headlines everywhere and sparking a lot of interest and debate. The supposed Hubble photo displayed a city of pure white, drifting strangely in the dark emptiness. Its otherworldly beauty was mesmerizing, inspiring awe and wonder in everyone. But along with the fascination, doubts remained. Was this really a view of the heavenly domain or a smart fake made to attract attention? As the story of the alleged Hubble photo spread, so too did skepticism and disbelief. Critics questioned the credibility of Weekly World News, labeling it a purveyor of sensationalist tales. Others pointed to the lack of corroborating evidence from independent sources, casting doubt on the authenticity of the image. But what you may not know is that this newspaper is very well known for publishing fictional stories for the purpose of entertainment, so just to be clear right up front, the image is fake, but let's get into how we know that it's fake. The claim has been debunked by multiple sources, such as astronomers, fact checkers, and journalists. NASA has never announced or confirmed any discovery of heaven or the city of God in space, and there is no record of such an image in the Hubble archive. But Claire Saravia said that the image was just a work of art and not affiliated with NASA. She also said that NASA does not comment on religious matters. Astronomer Phil Plate, who writes the blog Bad Astronomy, explained that the Hubble Space Telescope is designed to observe distant galaxies, stars, and planets, not supernatural realms. He also said that the image of heaven was obviously fake and not even a good Photoshop job. Fact-checking websites such as Snopes, PolitiFact, and FactCheck.org also rated the claim as false and provided links to the original source of the image and the artist's website. Journalists such as David Moy from HuffPost. The image of a nebula with a gate-like structure has been circulating online, claiming to show the gates of heaven. But this image is not a genuine photograph of a cosmic phenomenon. It is actually a digital artwork that was manipulated from a real Hubble image of a nebula. And the original image has nothing to do with heaven or religion. It is a scientific image of a fascinating object in our galaxy called Herbig-Haro 901. Herbig-Haro 901 is a massive pillar of gas and dust that lies within the Carina Nebula, a huge region where new stars are born. The pillar is several light years in height and hosts a few massive young stars. These stars are very energetic and emit powerful jets of gas that pierce through the surrounding cloud. The jets create shock waves that heat up the gas and make it glow in different colors. The Hubble Space Telescope captured this image of Herbig Haro 901 in 2007, revealing its intricate structure and beauty. The viral image of the Gates of Heaven was created by an artist named Adam Ferris, who used a pixel sorting technique to transform the Hubble image of Herbig Harrow 901. Pixel sorting is a process that rearranges the pixels of an image according to some criteria, such as brightness, hue, or saturation. Ferris applied this technique to the Hubble image and created a stack-like effect that resembles a gate. Ferris did not intend to deceive anyone with his artwork. He was simply experimenting with the aesthetic possibilities of pixel sorting and Hubble images. 
However, some people took his artwork and used it to spread a religious hoax online. They claimed that the image was a real photograph of the gates of heaven and that scientists were baffled by the discovery. They also attached a narrative that linked the image to the Book of Revelation and the End Times. This hoax was not original, but a recycled version of an older hoax that used a different image and a different story. The older hoax was published by a tabloid magazine called Weekly World News in 1994, which was known for making up sensational stories for entertainment. The magazine printed a fake image of heaven and claimed that it was taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. The magazine even admitted that the image was a work of art in a small disclaimer. The claim has some implications and lessons that we can learn from. One implication is that this claim shows how easily and quickly misinformation and disinformation can spread on social media platforms, especially when they appeal to people's emotions, curiosity, and beliefs. The claim also shows how some people can exploit people's credulity and gullibility for fame, money, or other motives. Another implication is that the claim can have some positive and negative effects on people's beliefs, emotions, and actions. Some people may find it comforting, inspiring, or affirming, while others may find it confusing, misleading, or offensive. Some people may also act on the claim, such as donating money, sharing the video, or changing their behavior, without verifying the source or the validity of it. One lesson that we can learn from the claim is the importance of critical thinking, media literacy, and scientific inquiry. Critical thinking is the ability to analyze, evaluate, and question information and arguments using logic, evidence, and reason. Media literacy is the ability to access, understand, and evaluate media messages using skills, knowledge, and tools. Scientific inquiry is the process of asking questions, making observations, conducting experiments, and drawing conclusions using methods, standards, and principles. These skills and abilities can help us to distinguish between facts and fiction and to avoid falling for hoaxes and misinformation. Another lesson that we can learn from the claim is the role and responsibility of social media platforms, content creators, and consumers in preventing and combating misinformation and disinformation. Social media platforms can implement policies, algorithms, and features that can flag, filter, or remove false or harmful content and promote credible and reliable sources. Content creators can follow ethical and professional guidelines, such as verifying information, citing sources, and correcting errors, and avoid spreading false or misleading content. Consumers can check the accuracy, credibility, and quality of the content they consume and report, flag, or block false or harmful content. They can also seek multiple and diverse perspectives and verify information from different sources. In conclusion, we have explored the origin, the debunking, and the implications of the claim that NASA found heaven with the Hubble Space Telescope. We have seen that the claim is false and the image is fake, and that there is no evidence or reason to believe that NASA found heaven in space. We have also seen that the claim has some implications and lessons that can help us to prevent and combat misinformation and disinformation, and to foster a healthy and respectful dialogue between people of different faiths and worldviews. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to share them below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos like this. See you next time.